So today I'm gonna make my own rose water and of course I'm going to use my Miranda Lambert roses. Um, they are beautiful and full of bloom right now. Look at me talking about flowers that I don't really know how to talk about them. But I'm gonna make my own rose water. This one looks good, so one, two, Okay, look. One, two, three, four, five. So I need to cut just below here at an angle. So I don't poke myself with the thorns that are on here. So here's one. And then I'll pick all the ones on the floor or ground up. One, two, three, four, five. So we will cut. Here at an angle. Cutting some of the smaller ones. <clears throat> I really should cut this beautiful one right here, but it's so pretty. I don't really want to cut it yet. One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll cut this one. So we'll cut one more off of this little guy over here. So I should have plenty of roses just to make a little bit of rose water, but I'm going to go ahead and pick up all the extra petals that are on the ground and wash them and then use those as well. So I have my bowl full of roses and I'm going to go get started on my rose water. So I use my own separate pot um, for my rose water. I'll link the um, steps in the bottom, um, but this is just one that I got from Walmart. Hmm comes with a strainer already. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go and take all the petals off of all the roses and then wash them and then um, I will steam them and I'll show you all the process. Okay, so I'm just taking all the petals off of the roses and no really good explanation of how I'm doing this. Just Taking them all off, putting them in a little bowl. And I'll do this with all of them. And I'll try to make sure I don't get any of the yellow. And some of these that aren't really in the best shape, I will um, put aside and I will use them once they get dry to be put in my chicken coop. And this one is just falling apart. So I will probably use a lot of these on this particular rose for the chicken coop. The chickens love roses. I usually do the whole roses in the chicken coop when freshly clean chicken coop or when I have a hen that is being um, broody which and you know sitting on an eggs I don't have any of those right now so we'll leave that part for the chickens Just cut this little piece off real quick this little bowl is full <laughs> so I will get another one okay so now we're about to start steaming the petals um, I have taken them all off the stem and I have put them in the pot and I've added distilled water and they are actually in a, my strainer and so we will simmer them for 20 to 30 minutes 
and then we will um, have our rose water. I'm no expert at this rose water. This is only the second or maybe third time that I've done this myself without just purchasing it. Um, I've done all the prep work. So we've cut our flowers, we've uh, taken the petals apart, we've washed them, and I've put them in my pot with distilled water. Now I'm steaming them. The process usually takes 20 to 30 minutes on the cook time. After um, that, we'll check and see what color the, the petals are. We want them to be a um, either white or a very, very pale pink, and then we'll let it cool. Then we will strain it, then we'll add it to a spray bottle, and then I'll have my rose water. So it's steaming. It's been steaming for about 10 minutes. for about 16 minutes. And as you can tell, the roses are already getting to be a softer pink. So we will see. Um, the answer has been 23 minutes. And as you can see, the petals, well, maybe, <laughs> the petals are a pretty, pretty light pink. Um, so about a few more minutes and then we will take them off the stove. So now at 25 past six, excuse me, 26 past six, um, they're pretty much where they're gonna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off and let them kind of cool down and then we will strain them and then we will add them to our bowl. So it's a couple hours later, 8.27. And this is what it looks like. You just pick up this. Hopefully I just made a little bit of a mess. As you can see, there's still a little steam coming off of it. So now I will strain it and then I will um, pour it in a jar. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put it in a little mason jar. I'll just take this off, let it drain a little bit, and I'll sit it in the bowl that I had. And here we will strain this. made more than I thought it made. I'm actually going to have to find another jar. Okay, so since I needed another bottle for everything else, I have some old um, rose water um, bottles. So I'm just going to add this that I already filtered into this little bottle. <gasps> Whoopsie! <laughs> Let's get a towel before it stains my canna. Bloopers are fun. I knew that was probably gonna happen. Okay, let's do the other one real quick. Okay, I didn't do that again. I'll just put the lid, these little lids back on them. bottles are pretty warm. This stuff is pretty warm, so I still have about this much left. So I'm going to strain the rest of it and hopefully it will all fit in here. And it doesn't. In case you didn't
didn't know why you keep all these glass containers, mason jars. This is an old peach container. This is why. So you have backups when you run out. able to make two of these bottles, this full, and this full. <laughs> if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, a subscribe to my channel, leave me a comment, uh, and I'll be chatting with you guys there. See you then.